ここが貴様の終焉絶望の地てめえはどうだろうねああ、Alright, what's going on, guys? b u b b l e s back again, coming at you with a showcase on the swimsuit halibut that was released in 20. Was it 2020? I think 2020. And、uh, shout out to my boy Kazushi for messaging me and reminding me.、Um, so let's just get right into it. Halibut Max Transcended T15. I'm not quite sure what he put on her.、Uh, full stamina damage boost. So, okay, so we're going to try to keep the full stam. She is an Arankar spotter with an Arankar killer. On top of that, she does have Flurry, and we do have the level 3 attack. And she is a normal attack damage plus 25% link, which is really good. So, we do have the damage 25 link from Zangetsu, Moe, and then we do have a max transcendent White Ichigo. Not quite the normal attack damage 25 or 30 that we're getting from Arena Rose, but、um, a max transcendent link is always good, especially if it's.、Uh, For damage, right?、Uh, gold Chappy, Chappy, and then the Combat Spirit Bug.、Uh, I don't know if he has.、Um... Let me check if he has the Hollow Bait real quick. He might just have it on a. Oh, he has it on a. I'm not, I don't need a strip of suit. But the damage is going to be、um, relatively similar regardless. Alright, so let's go into difficult quests. Do we have IT available? Because the enemies are, in my professional opinion, a r o n k a r s Okay, cool. Look at that. I'm, I'm correct. I'm a scientist.、Um, <laughs> I'm such an idiot. My bad.、Uh, let's、uh, full do full boosters.、Um, I guess we don't really need full, just the damage ones. I want to see how she performs here in IT single player. If she's able to two shot, that's great. Ah, okay. So very close to one shotting. Actually, if we put on another full stam link, we might actually be able to just straight up one shot. The only issue that I see is if、uh, you're, you're trying to keep your full stamina damage boost here. Okay, ooh. <laughs> Alright, I, I got, I'm not gonna lie, they shook me out there. Whoa, 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 whoa. You gotta pop a strong attack for protection. Like bringing out the Durex. Can't afford any plan B's right now, so you gotta do what you gotta do, right? No, there, there it is.、Whew. Okay, able to keep the full stam at the end, but still took damage, which really sucks because、uh, we lose our combo bonus. What did he do? One, two, three, four. Oh, one, two, three, four. So 58k goes up to 100,000. I believe that was with full stam. I think we had 2% combo damage bonus. So,、um, assuming. 20,000, 1,000.1. Let's just assume that.、Uh, actually, you know, let's do proper math. Divided by 1.02, which is the 2% combo damage bonus, multiplied by 1.1, which is the. Combo damage bonus.、Uh, we're gonna be getting roughly 52,000 per nad hit times two. It's gonna be 103k on the last nad hit. I'm not gonna lie, the damage is pretty good.、Um, what I wanna see right now is can I put like a full stamina damage boost link on her? I'm trying to think if we have、um, the 25% full stam link. I don't even know if there is one for, for tech, I mean for speed. I don't believe that there is. This one gives more attack. But our strong,、eh, our strong attacks and getting more damage、uh, ain't too shabby either. Let's do this. Alright, let's check this out. Normally I don't do IT twice, but I kind of want to see if we can one shot with the extra full stamp. Nah. It looks like we can if we build up our combo though.
you know, someone asked me earlier today, they're like, they're like, why do you care about strong attacks when they're a normal attack damage character? And, um, it's a valid point, it's a valid question, in my opinion, but, like, her second strong attack, for example, is, like, perfect for a nat character, you see how it, like, just brings them in? <laughs> no, no! <laughs> and this is why it's hard to do commentary, because it's like, I'm trying to, like, think of what to say while playing like I'm on another plane of existence, man. Really? Bro, oh, come on. <laughs> I hate I hate him. I hate those enemies with a burning passion. And now I'm playing like dude cuz they got me all messed up. Oh my lord. And now without my full stamina, I, I feel like I'm like I feel like a mortal. I've been watching way too many Oblivion videos. I mean, not Oblivion videos. I've been watching way too many Skyrim videos. I have like Dragon Rend on my mind. Finite Mortal. I forgot what the last one was. Okay. We're able to kill the little enemy, that's good. Mm. Nah, I'm not quite able to one-shot. That was not the last hit, either. That was like 66k. Times 1.2. The 20% the is going to be the last hit of the Nat String, right? So we're going to be getting roughly like 100... 100... what is what is that? 80k is 160k, so it's 159.4k. Oh, I could have just did this. Duh, I'm an idiot. Okay, there we go. <laughs> uh, e either way, that's actually really good damage for a Nad character, especially considering she doesn't have any status elements. That's one thing to note, right? Now, she does have a Bruiser of 65%, but unlike characters with, like, unlike some characters with Bruiser 60+, um, she doesn't have a boost, right? Like, characters like Masaki has a boost. Um, quite a few char Nat characters have a boost. Let, let me actually look this up. Uh, click Flurry. And then I want to type in a boost. Spiritual pressure boost, I wish. <laughs> Alright, do that. So, yeah. So, like, characters like Soifon... Um, I think Soifon has a, a really high bru bruiser, right? Yeah, 60% bruiser. Oh, she's so good. Rukia also has a bruiser of, um, yeah, 80%, except she also has the booster mechanic with her boost. So, like, there, there's there's quite a few characters that just have a really high bruiser. Uh, Jushiro, I think Jushiro is the one that kind of started it all. Um, Tatsuki, Tsukishima. Well, I, yeah, no, actually, Masaki definitely started it all, huh? Click. Click. Let me just see who has a bruiser higher than like 40%. Uh, oops, let's do this. Uh, bruiser 40, bruiser 30, bruiser 40, bruiser 40. Yeah, so uh, Jushiro kind of set everything in motion with the bruiser of 60%. You can definitely see that towards the anniversary time where a lot of like characters end up getting really, really strong and power creep to hell. So, um,. That's why I tell people, I'm like, I'm like, even though you might want these characters now, just be very wary and make sure that they have a, if, if they're not like your favorite character of all time, like say your favorite character is like Grimjow, say your favorite character is Orihime, say you want like the bounce in BBS, right? Like, <laughs> that's not gonna happen. But, um, if you save for like the really like broken characters, like after anniversary, that's when like power creep starts hitting really, really heavy. Like, all the characters that we're getting nowadays are pretty much based on the premise of trying to compete with anniversary characters. Oh man, that's annoying. Yeah, now that 66 that we hit on Okiora, keep in mind, 
unlike the regular trash mobs, Okiora does not have uh, iron skin. Yep, so that's why our damage here is hitting for like 63k normally on the enemies that we actually have killer on. Yeah, no guard break really hurt this character, but, but like... Ugh. Is it, I know you can't expect guard break on every NAD character, because... <laughs> but like... I'm not gonna lie, w without guard break, it's really difficult for a character to, in my opinion, like... Excel in PvE content. Oh, but Spite, this person has Marauder. And they're good at PvE content. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. <laughs> that, that, was, that was an actual uh, that was an actual knock to, to in, in voice chat one time. The guy's like, he's like, yeah, but they have Marauder, so like they don't have guard break, and they're they're do just fine. <sighs> oh my lord, I wanted to palm that kid's head, bro. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You want a drink? That actually almost killed him. Thirty nine k. Ah, we 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 lost a ton of our full stamp. Right, that's right. I forgot that we're still full stamp build. <laughs> but I mean, that's pretty much the swimsuit halibut in a nutshell. I think she's I think she's a good character, worth max transcending. I don't I don't know. Um, if you're using her for content like Melee or Roncar Killer Week, though, for Guild Quest, for example, she should do incredibly fine there. Uh, on top of that, remember Sinkaimon, if she fills any criteria, a Max Transcendent unit can usually pass through a couple rules um, if they follow at least one or they're allowed to join in, right? Now, she doesn't have any status ailments, which in my opinion is kind of a knock to her, but at least she has a really, really high bruiser. She has Flurry. She also has... Does she have Poise? Yeah, she does have poise, and then on top of that, you also are immune to weaken. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I think she's a good character. Um, worth max transcending, personally, I don't, I don't think so. Uh, I'll probably get mine to like a five across the board whenever I get mine to five out of five uh, in time, right? But uh, we'll, we'll see exactly what goes down. But I'm gonna leave it there, guys. Grind on catch up if you stay blessed. Like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Um, do I like the Halibut? Yeah, I do. And then on top of that, ah, you know, like, at worst, even if this character, like, two years, three years down the line, she's still a NAD 25. Like, that's, not, that's respectable in and of itself. But I'm gonna leave it at that. Stay blessed, y'all. You have a great day, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace!